Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Again, check out the description of the video for the full playlist. We're working with Eureka Doom Editor, uh, which is a great uh, Doom Editor uh, for building Doom levels. And today we're going to talk about secret levels. Now we've talked about secret areas in the past, um, and we've talked about switches to exit levels, I believe. Anyway, well, if not, we're going to talk about it today. Um, so, if you're not familiar with Doom and how it works, you have 30 in, in the base game, Doom 1 and Doom 2, if you're not playing Ultimate Doom or some other modified version, you have 30 main levels, but then you also have two secret levels, so 32 levels all together. The secret levels are levels 31 and 32. Doom 1, I don't think it matters. Most of my editing is done with Doom 2, just because you have you know more options as far as weapons and bad guys. Um, and Doom 1, I don't think it matters what level you put your exit to secret level on. When you're working with Doom 2, you have to have, at least in, in a, you know, I don't know if different ports work differently, but your secret level, if you want to exit and have a secret level exit, it has to be on level 15, and that will bring you to level 31. And on level 31, you want to set your exit as a secret level exit to go to exit 32. If you put a secret level exit on any other level other than uh, level 15, it's just going to start that level over again. So I'm actually going to show you that right now. Let me go ahead and in our starting room here, let me go ahead and create a little wall here. That's actually should have that. And move our camera into here. And in sector mode, move that up. I'll just choose a texture here switch and I'm just going to choose this first switch here which if I hit F9 oh we're good okay uh, as far as right now anyway I'm going to choose and I'm going to choose that I want this to exit the level and here you can see we have switch uh, S for switch which is what this is going to be you get W to walk through so when you walk through into a room it might exit the level and then these bottom two are uh, G which means shoot but uh, again, that's for uh, boom ports of Doom, so that may or may not show up depending on what port of Doom you're choosing. So I'm going to choose uh, here, exit the secret level, uh, type 51. If I control S, control T to save and test, I come over here and flip this switch, I end the level, and all of a sudden I'm back at the same level. And that's because I am on map number one right now. This is not map number 15, and I'm working with Doom 2. So that's important to remember. If you want to have secret levels in your in your Doom wad, you're going to want to have that on map 15. And of course, you'll have two exits. You'll have your regular exit and your secret exit somewhere. Uh, so let's real quick here. I'm going to go File and I'm going to go Fresh Map and I'm going to choose Map 15. And of course, Eureka crashed, um, which happens occasionally. It does not happen that often. I'm going to go ahead and go back into my tutorial here, and it actually created, I think I'm on map 15 right now. Uh, make a control S. Yep, it says down here, save map 15. So real quick, I'm going to, uh, here on map 15, just like before, create a little sector here. Move that up. And, you know, switches don't have to have a switch texture. I can leave that uh, as it is. But, of course, you, if you want people to flip the switch, you want it to look like a switch. So go ahead and choose that. I'll choose exit. And this time I'll say secret. So it's a switch exit. Switch one. All these are going to be one because you can't repeat. When you end the level, you're gone. You can't do it more than once. So now I can go ahead, save and test. And when I flip this, it should bring me to a thing saying, congratulations, you found a secret level. And bring me to map 30. One, and of course with map 31, I can have a secret switch that will bring you map 32 uh, as well, or the next level. Um, but of course, if I change this to just switch exit level, and I test that out instead of bringing me to the secret level, it will just bring me to the next level, level 16. So that's how to get to secret levels, and again, you can do a walkthrough as well. Let's do that real quick. Uh, what I like to do, and you'll see this, other people do this as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bunch of little sectors here. 
You can have it be a teleporter. And again, this is more of uh, not functionality, but design choices. I'm going to choose sector. I'm going to choose, whoops, shift select all these sectors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the lighting a little bit um, in each one. So this hallway is going to progressively get darker and darker and darker until you're at zero for these last two here. So you can see it gets darker, darker, darker. And I can actually see the wall there, but in the actual game renders a little bit different. That's going to be completely dark. And what I'm going to do here is give myself a little bit of room. And I'm going to say this, choose. I'm going to say walk through, exit to secret, save and exit. Now I can flip this switch, uh, which I think is set, we just set to a um, regular exit. But if I walk down this hallway, it's going to get darker, darker, darker until everything's black and the level ends. So that's one way you can end a level, just walking into darkness. Because it'd be weird that you just walk up to an empty wall and the level ends. But of course, you can also do it like so. Let's go boom, 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 boom. We'll add a little teleporter type flat to that. And just like we did with regular teleporters, we'll go L. But instead of choosing uh, teleport, we're just going to say walk through either regular exit or secret exit. So now I can flip a switch here, I can walk down this dark hallway, or I can go into this little teleporter and end the level. Again, those are uh, design choices for you on how you want to end your level. And uh, yeah, that's it for how to exit a level to a secret level. Again, uh, it's been years, decades, since I've done a Doom uh, 1 mod, because uh, I always just do Doom 2. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, because in the original Doom game, uh, the first exit to a secret level is on map three, I believe, where you go across the green um, toxic waste into a room. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the second exit, but it doesn't go. And I like that better. That's one thing I don't like about Doom 2, uh, for me, is your secret level has to be on level 15, so at least people know to look for it on 15 if it's going to exist. But then to get to the second secret level, I think you got to go from secret level to secret level. Where in Doom 1, you'll have a secret level, you know, uh, uh, exit on one level, and then you beat that and you go continue with the game, and then a few levels down, you might have another secret exit for them to find. Um, yeah, I don't know why they made that change. But that's exiting to secret levels. I do thank you for watching this. Please check out uh, the description of the video for the full playlist. Check out filmsbychris.com. Again, that's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos. And I've done uh, previous videos on Doom, uh, compiling Doom levels, uh, compiling the source code, I mean, and editing the source code, and even modifying the binaries a little bit, extracting WAD files and textures and whatnot. Uh, so you can search my channel, again, filmsidechris.com, for all that type of stuff. Uh, also, I, most of my videos are just on software in general, uh, writing code or using software, free and open source software in most cases. And um, yeah, so if you enjoy that type of thing, you might enjoy my channel. Think about subscribing and searching through my, my video channel. I also do a little bit on hardware, you know, Arduinos, ESP 8266s, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm just mentioning all this because this is about Doom Level Editor, so I might be getting some new viewers that are coming to see these tutorials. You might be interested in my other videos. You may or may not, because you might only be interested. Because I also do a little bit on game design here and there. Uh, so if you're interested in this, you might be interested in doing 2D or 3D game design, uh, which I've done a little bit here and there in the past. I do thank you again for watching. Uh, I, love, I would love to see what you guys create. So uh, let me know if you create a map and you post it somewhere online. Comment below, and I'd love to check it out. I do thank you for watching, and uh, as always, I hope that you have a great day.